So, number change. Yes, What's the move? Uh, I, to be honest, it kind of came to a surprise. You know what I'm saying? I think just the coaches, you know, respect what I've been doing since I've been here. Like I said, previous times in a couple of interviews, you know, I got pushed into a leadership role and I, I've just been taking ownership of that. And I take pride in that, you know what I'm saying? I own up to it just because I'm in a position to be free and I'm in a position to lead. So I think with the number change, I mean, I think that's just something new for the guys here. And I think, you know what I'm saying? He trusts me a lot. So I think with the number, I mean, it just comes with a lot of responsibility yeah. and I'm ready for it. And then that leadership role, I mean, you're new here, new coaching staff, kind of everyone's new almost in a way. Yes, you step up kind of in this last a few months. How has it been taking that kind of leadership role and do you appreciate it? No, I definitely appreciate it a lot. I mean, it's something I've always looked forward to in my career. I've always wanted to be a leader. I always felt like I was capable of being a leader. And now that it's here, now that my opportunity is here too, I mean, I can't help but be grateful. And it's been awesome. It's been amazing coming out here and being able to tell the guys just what I see in my head, just yeah. the base knowledge that I feel like I have. And then even just to be able to share. I mean, there's times where I mess up too. So I mean, the ability to oh, like <clears throat> be open about my mistakes too. I feel like as a leader, that's important because you don't always want to seem right. You don't always want to seem like the guy that's doing everything right. So it's cool for me to mess up and the guys honestly come up to me and like, no, nah, that wasn't right or something like that. But at the end of the day, me being the oldest in the room, you know what I'm saying, they look, at, they look up to me like a big brother and I can't help but see them as little bros. So I mean, like I said, anything they need or whatever the case may be, I come out here and I take it. I mean, I love it every day. And then Coach Amy called you a coach on the field the other day. How is it working with him and kind of helping those guys come along while you're out there on the field and he's out there on the sideline? I think honestly, it's just great having two of the same minds out there. You know what I'm saying? Coach Amy obviously coaches from a coach's perspective, yeah. but I feel like the opportunity that he gives me as a player to honestly kind of more as the inside scoop of what he wants. I feel yeah. like it's just more of the finer details. So like he can explain something to the guys and I feel like I can just take it a step further for him and then for us collectively. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like I said, I mean, I feel like the trust that he has for me has just been amazing since I've been here. And how about all the young guys on the defense? Not just the defensive line, but kind of just the secondary, all that kind of stuff right, right, too. Yeah. How's it been kind of seeing a bunch of freshmen and Jaden getting a chance to starting quarterback, fresh making a big impact. How's it seen being a freshman kind of coming in and making their impact fast? Honestly, man, it's been kind of amazing because then you think to yourself like, you know, at Power 5 football, you yeah. ready if you think that the older guys will everybody will be playing stuff like that yeah. but i feel like here like there's so many guys that are capable of playing obviously like you just said mm -hmm. Jaden rashada is a yeah. freshman about to start week one yeah he's a freshman about to start yeah. week one like think about that you yeah. know what i'm saying he comes out here, he takes command of the offense. And me being a D-line, it's cool to watch him walk up there mm -hmm. and kind of talk to the O-line, make sure they're calm before, you know what I'm yeah. saying, he get into his cadence and stuff like that. So, I mean, honestly, collectively for the freshmen, I've just been shocked, honestly. Like, yeah. I haven't really been around a freshman class like this. Everyone's yeah. locked in. Of course, freshmen are freshmen. They're away from home. So, you got a couple, <laughs> a couple of goofy kids. But, I mean, other than that, everyone shows up to work. And, I mean, it's just been a joy, honestly. Yeah. And then, finally... One week today, one week from today, first game, first time walking out of Pat Tillman Tunnel. Are you ready to get in front of the Sun Devil Faithful? I'm, be I'm beyond ready, man. I'm beyond ready just to be able to showcase to my teammates, to my coaches, and then just the opportunity they gave me to come here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think necessarily it's for me to showcase for the crowd or nothing like that. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's good to play in front of Arizona State and stuff like that, yeah. but honestly, I just want to pay back, contribute to, you know, the coaches giving me the opportunity to come here. Mm -hmm.